Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Revy OS 11, which is a custom version of Windows 11, which is actually designed for power users of Windows as well as gamers. Pretty happy with how this website looks. It looks really professional, except the only complaint about Revy 11, and actually Revy 10 as well, there are two different versions, is that when you download it takes you to this really weird website that if you click anywhere it opens up an ad. So that's the one complaint that I have, but other than that, the website, it's actually a Google site, I just saw that, but it looks really professional. So going into the operating system, I already have it downloaded, and of course for the sake of, you know, Windows 11, we're taking a look at the Windows 11 version today. Um, this bypasses, of course, all of the TPM and secure boot restrictions, so there's no need to have any of that enabled. I'm just using, you know, the regular Windows 10 settings on VMware, no TPM, no special settings. And as we can see here, it boots straight into the setup. Setup is starting right now. So this should be a pretty quick install. I believe it is debloated from the regular Windows 10 design, or regular Windows 11, I mean. Um, it's designed for power users, and I'm actually pretty happy. I'm pretty happy to see how this is going. Um, because I like taking a look at custom Windows installs, especially ones that promise a lot. Um, so this is going to be pretty interesting, but we're installing right now. Alright, and here we are after the boot. So, first things first, the default background has ch actually like this one a lot better than the one that is found in, you know, real Windows 10. Or win Windows 11, I keep saying Windows 10. Um, another thing to note is that Revy OS 11 is also running on Windows 10 22H2. Um, which I've made a few videos on in the past, and I actually like 22H2 a lot. So a lot of the new features that came with this build of Windows are obviously going to be integrated here. First nice thing, automatically asks me for a local account and not a Microsoft account. My first favorite thing about this distro, or would you call this a distro? I'm not really sure. And just like that, we are inside of Revy OS 11. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually install VMware tools so we can get this better experience. But also, um, I've been brought to this screen, um, which is preparing Revy OS. So this is probably going to take a little bit, um, something I was not expecting. I did no testing beforehand. When I do OS reviews, I like to not really test beforehand because it gives my real, you know, my real opinion on the OS without having any pre-context or anything like that. Alright, and it looks like we might be able to actually install VMware tools now. I'm hoping. First off, I would really like to say that I've never seen the new file explorer yet. Like, even on my Insider laptop, I haven't had it. This looks really good. But that's a Windows 11 thing, not a Revy thing. So we're going to go ahead and get VMware tools installed, and we're going to take a look at some of the customizations that came with Revy OS 11. All right, and here we are in Revy OS 11. So by default, right-click menus, first thing I noticed are the old right-click menus. Second off, I have not seen an icon like this in forever. You know, usually how notifications come out from the right side, the, these are from the tray. I have not seen that since Windows 7. I'm not sure if that's a VMware thing or a Revy customization, but that was pretty cool. Taking a look up here, you know, standard stuff, Recycle Bin, Brave comes pre-installed, which I've actually never used Brave before. Um, okay, and next is the revision tool, which is just a, M or a CMD script, which allows you to change some simple things in Revy OS. Pretty cool. Moving down here, we can see that widgets are gone. The one thing I do like about Windows 11 is the space in the left is used for the um, weather. I, I do like that, and I wish they brought that back here. Um, over here, we do have our time, notifications, as well as do not disturb, which is a new feature in Windows 11 22H2, as well as our standard settings and regular stuff that came with Windows 11. Moving into the start menu, we can see our pinned is very minimal, which is pretty cool. Um, accessibility is at the top for some reason. I mean, typically I thought accessibility was at the bottom under Windows Ease of Use, but it was apparently moved here. 
And all we get pre-installed is Brave, Calculator, File Explorer, Get Started, Microsoft Store, Notepad, Paint, Settings, Snipping Tool, Terminal, Security, Tools, Xbox, Game Bar, and Your Phone. And that is it. Which So that's pretty bare for a Windows 11 install, but honestly, I like it a lot. Um, again, up here, Widgets is gone. No, we can't even add Widgets. Um, Windows Update is also gone. I can't even click on that to open it. I do like how instead of saying the PC model, like in this instance of say VMware, it does say RevUS 11 22.07, running an insider build of 22H2 22.6.21. Um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed already just at the stability of this. Um, different themes are here, although they all have the same background and the only background is the RevUS background which is pretty nice taking a look at that file explorer I mean this is not a RevUS thing this is a Windows 22 H2 thing but man this looks really good um, 48.0 gigs free of 59.3 so we're using about 11 gigabytes which isn't bad but that's not that good either especially when I've seen a 3 gigabyte Windows install but again you have to keep in mind we're not going for a tiny install here we're going for performance we're going for you know a cut down Windows 11 if I had to say I would probably say this is what Windows 11 Pro should have been Windows 11 Home, yeah, I get it. Loaded up with bloatware, it's a home operating system. But Pro is mostly used in education and enterprise environments, and this is what it really should have been. A bare bones, not bare bones, but a not so junk filled OS that values functionality over looks. I like looks in an operating system, but when it comes down to it, functionality should be key. If this could get official Windows updates, I would actually probably use this. Just because I like the way that this feels, I like the way that this looks. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here, as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next.